All right. Um, as far as the injuries go, uh, McColl has the illness to his abdomen. Um, he's getting better, but not back yet. Uh, two people in concussion protocol are uh, Lamons and Juju, and then Scantling is just sick. He, he's got an illness. So uh, Frank is back, which is a positive. Um, and then we look forward to playing the Chargers. We know they're a good football team. They're getting some of their players back. We're, we realize that. And, um, and so we'll, um, you know, we'll have a good week of practice, get ready for them starting today. I agree. With uh, Juju and the understanding that he is in the concussion protocol, Coach, what's your outlook for him this week? Yeah, I mean, I, I, you take it day by day. Um, but we'll be cautious with it. I, I, we're not going to do anything that you shouldn't do according to what the data shows so, and how he feels. As a, as a league, with the things that happened this year around, you know, with the tour situation, all that stuff, how much more <laughs> cognizant of, are you guys of this than maybe you were 20 years ago when you started doing this? Yeah, listen, I think the league does a great job. It, the, one, the one thing that amazed me about the league is they don't shy away from uh, situations. So as tough as it can be, some people turn their back on things. I don't think the league does that. Um, and this has been one of them. I mean, you know the time that we've spent at the owner meetings on uh, protection for players, uh, safety, uh, in particular concussions and, and soft tissue injuries. So um, I, I think it's come a long way. I think it will continue to develop as the helmets get better and the rules, uh, the guys get used to the rules and the officials get used to officiating it and so on and so forth. So. Coach, one of the things, just kind of following up on what you were uh, just describing, Bill Belichick, on, I believe on Monday or Tuesday, talked about um, being able to utilize a challenge after the two-minute warning. Um, I believe you're on the competition committee. What are your thoughts on that? Because and, and I think it's coming from some, from some of the missed calls that the officials uh, may have missed over the weekend. Yeah, I'm on the coaches committee, not, okay. not the competition committee, we, uh, but we deal with that that, that stuff. Um, I, I don't have. Uh, one way or the other, I, I haven't talked to Bill. So I mean, uh, but normally if he says something, it's he's put some thought into it, and it's normally a pretty good idea. So um, uh, you know, it's maybe something we look at in the offseason. Ben Sunday, you mentioned the MRI for Wiley. Uh, I guess he's back to practice, so everything was okay with with his elbow. Yes, um, yes, they, they braced it. You'll see him, he has a brace on it, but he's he feels pretty good. I know you guys have always been aggressive, and we've asked Davis a couple of times when he's been available. They told um, and you like to be aggressive on the returns and everything when it's possible. But is the game evolving to where the kickers, the punters, the coverages are so good that you know you just can't have the kind of returns, the kind of success you've had in years past? And, yeah, and, yeah. Some of it's rules too, and they, they change um, to try to protect the guys. Um, there are a lot of injuries that have taken place on in the kicking game, so they. Move that around. Now, Dave's a good one to talk to because he's on that committee <laughs> where they they talk about all that stuff. So, um, but I, I still think it's a, a viable part of the game, and I, I still think you make plays there um, when you have the ball, uh, the opportunity to you know block, tackle. I mean, those those fundamentals become very important on special teams. The return, your blocking has to in space has to be very good. Mm -hmm. That takes skill and and work, so and we need to get better at it. Sorry, does your uh, <clears throat> philosophy change with the way Patrick has evolved and, and has you know effective as he's been? Do you think you know, okay? We want to be aggressive now. We can dial it back a little bit because we we you know got a guy that we really trust uh, under center. Um, I mean, maybe in certain cases. Um, I mean it's. <laughs> It would be the situ whatever situation, you know, specifically. If I say no, you know, we do something. It's, but I'm, I look like a fool up here. But, um, but you know, there's certain times when you're going to be a little bit more aggressive than, than others. Andy, how did Clyde take his uh, lower amount of playing time the other night? And what would you tell him about yeah. that and, and his role going forward? I probably love about Clyde is Clyde wants to play. You know, so I, I wouldn't expect anything less than that. How he handled it, though, was like a pro. But he wants to play. And I, 
had to take a lesson if he didn't want to play. So the, it's the way that rotation goes. It's a crazy, crazy thing because we don't go in thinking that. And, but because of the way the series worked, short series here, and he gets in for three plays and he's out, and, you know, and we don't have that many three and outs as an offense. And uh, he happened to be in one of them. So it, it, the numbers got skewed. And it's kind of what happened with Pacheco, you know, before that. So well, we're, we're working through it. And it's not because of his ability. I mean, that's not. A different health and safety issue from concussions, but SoFi Stadium's turf has been in the crosshairs a lot. Mm -hmm. Where do you stand on artificial turf, natural grass? Yeah, listen, I mean, I, I prefer natural grass. I, you know, I've, I've listed all the studies, the density studies. Um, I've seen all the different compounds that they put into, you know, I still like grass, you know, natural grass. The way our league does it, I mean, I've seen some fields that I probably go, get, you know, let's go artificial on, but uh, for the most part, the guys that take care of these fields in the league do a nice job. And uh, the grass fields, I'm saying. And, and the turf, I mean, they make it as good as they can possibly make it with the turf stuff, uh, with the artificial turf. But I would prefer regular, regular grass. Coach, I was going to follow up on Adam's question about the running back situation. It was reported that you all had interest in uh, uh, Eno Benjamin before the Texans uh, cleaned them off the waivers. But looking at that, if that were to be the case, and they did comment on that particularly, but uh, if you were to bring another running back in, what's that, what's that say about Ronald Jones and his, and his ability to be able to make the make the uh, active list? Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't hear anything about that. So I, I honestly don't know anything about it. I know Brett looks at everybody, but everything, but I, I never heard that. I mean, we're, we're good with what we have right there. <laughs> Yeah, so Ronald's a capable player, obviously. Um, and it's the number, it, it all started back in training camp. I mentioned that a couple of weeks ago. So when you, you, you kind of lose out on the spot, now you got to wait till somebody you know, gets banged up or sick or something of that sort and until you get in. I mean, you're not going to dress more than three of them normally. And, uh, but we feel very comfortable with him being in there too. So. I know the MVS might be okay, but uh, today you'll be rolling with Watson, Tony, and more. Just how confident are you in the depth of the receiver? Yeah, we're good. We're, you know, we're good. We've got a couple other guys. Uh, you know, you've seen Camp up in a few weeks. Uh, not this past game, but the two before that. So we, we know he can do it. However, yeah, I mean, we're we're fine. So. Andy, the um, question to you guys. It's certainly a, a long way to go, but just wanted to backtrack to the offseason, the moves you guys made, obviously getting rid of, of, of a pretty high caliber player. Can you recall having a conversation with the team as far as, hey, the, the end goal doesn't change when, when you make a move like that? I mean, or was it just a natural yeah. thing? Yeah, you know what, Sam? I think the players know how we roll, and mm -hmm. uh, you don't really have to say that. And uh, I'm, I'm glad he's having a good year. I mean, that's that's great for the National Football League. It's great for him and his family. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy for him, and that's the way we approach it. But we also have good players, and Brett does it as well as anybody in, in finding people and bringing them in that he thinks will fit in the offense, defense, and special team. So well, we have full trust in him as a coaching staff. Uh, but the guys that we've had here, man, we've loved having, and we want them to be able to make a living doing it and make as much money as they possibly can doing it. So. If they go somewhere else, they go somewhere else, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get what we need and, and, and go roll. We're sitting here in the middle of <clears throat> November. You guys have had a couple of dog fights with the AFC West teams already this year. But if you win this game, you're three games clear of the Chargers. Are you surprised that that's how the division has shaken out so far this year? Well, you're right at that time where, I mean, these games are so, so important. Um, it's important for the Chargers, it's important for us, Denver, and, and the Raiders, likewise. So, um, that, that's the time of year you're in, and you got to make sure that you you batten down the hatches, man, and, and get things, uh, detail your work, and, and and don't leave anything uncovered there. So. Last one, Herb. Coach, on, on Juju Smith-Schuster, obviously there's a lot of controversy around that hit. Have you heard from the league um, clarifying whether it was a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder hit or it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit? No, I mean, I heard from the officials. But I haven't heard from the league yet. They'll, they'll 
give us our report. Would you hear from the show? Uh, shoulder, shoulder. Yeah. Or are you talking about what? During the game. The yeah, at the game. Would, would the, is it standard for the league to, and, I, and something, since that's become a big talking point around, is it standard for the league to reach out to you, or is that the kind of thing you have to reach out to them to get some kind of input? And, well, it goes both ways. Yeah, it does both ways. But, but we, you know, we have a form that we can fill out and ask questions. So. Okay, thanks, Coach. Yep. Okay.